My name is Amalia Putri Adini Sahna and my student number is 2051205. My name is Nikmal Abdul Brihat Maji and my student number is 205. My name is Robi Setiawan and my student number is uh, 2051215050. We want to present our mini research about the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on restaurant business in Yogyakarta. So here we go. So first, we're gonna start from the chapter one introduction. First, is about the study background. Yogyakarta is one of the big cities in Indonesia which has high economic activity. One of them is in the culinary sector. Currently, there are many restaurants in Yogyakarta with unique and interesting concept that invite visitors to visit this restaurant. This shows that the food sector in the city of Yogyakarta is very influential for the economy of the people in Yogyakarta itself. However, the COVID-19 pandemic that hit all regions of the world had an impact on the various sectors, including in the culinary sectors. Many culinary and the restaurant business people in the world have been forced to close their business for some time and many also go bankrupt. Restriction activities due to the COVID-19 pandemic have caused economic closes nationally by Hadi Wardoyo 2020. This is because of the existence of the PSBB, some economic activities are prohibited for operating and of course it will cause economic losses. Problem formulation The coronavirus outbreak has reduced income for those involved in the culinary industry especially in the city of Japan. Instead of going to a restaurant nowadays, people forever to shop for groceries and household need a traditional market to fulfill their need. So how do restaurant business owners manage the restaurant during the COVID-19 pandemic? Study objective. The purpose of this study is to collect information and carry out operation related to the strategy of restaurant business owner managing manage the restaurant during the COVID-19 pandemic. And next is chapter 2 about the theoretical review. Based on the theory put forward by Arlindo Medira 2020 says that recovering old customer and capturing a new target public through product innovation and new forms of the service were also widely mentioned in the responses. This theory explained that the owners of the restaurant today are more focused on the customers through communication strategies and a change to the type of the service that should include takeaway to survive the current crisis. According to Lidl 2020, alternative compromise models such as uh, drive-thru and food delivery were implemented by restaurant corporate and owners to offset the impact. This theory shows that restaurant owners manage their restaurants with alternative compromise models such as drive-thru and food delivery implemented by restaurant companies and owners to offset the impact. Uh, not only that, based on the theory from Brian Olohan 2020, but that the focus has shifted to alternative real-time solution. This theory explained that the restaurant is more focused on the ready to deliver food to reduce the possibility of fast press meeting which can increase the spread of the coronavirus. And next is chapter 3 about the research methods. First, it's about the research design. Qualitative methods will be used in this mini research. This is an interview with a restaurant owner based in Yogyakarta, and researchers found information from the subject in dealing with restaurant income and financial issues for restaurant owners during the COVID-19 pandemic. The speaker were Mr. Boni, the owner of the Upper Middle Class Cafe, Raku Cafe in Yogyakarta, Mr. Agus Fabriansa, the owner of the Upper Middle Class Cafe, Aurum Cafe, and Mr. Andreas Duhardo ST, the owner of the Spasi Cafe in Yogyakarta. Data analysis. The result of the interview will be classified based on the interviewee's point of view about how much impact restaurants have on the COVID-19 pandemic and how to overcome the problem. Then, the researcher will analyze the data classification and will interpret the result to answer the research question. 
chapter 4 finding and discussion finding all interview about the impact of COVID-19 pandemic in restaurant business in Yogyakarta presented and examined in this chapter. In analyzing interview data, the emerging questionnaires will be discussed in this section. Uh, the results of the interview are classified based, based on the interview point of view about how much impact restaurant has on the COVID-19 pandemic and how to overcome the problem. Then we analyze the data classification and interpret the result. First, restaurant operate before pandemic spread too much in Indonesia. From the result of interview that have been completed, the restaurant that we researched uh, opened a restaurant in uh, 2019 until 2020. Around the beginning of the years before the pandemic hit this country, Mr. Boni said, in this interview, Roku Cafe has been opened since May 2020. Likewise, uh, what was conveyed by Mr. Agus, owner of Cafe Arum, first operated on May uh, 17, 2020, and Mr. Andreas as the owner of the Spicy Cafe restaurant business also said that the restaurant opened in 2020. <coughs> But with the pandemic started to attack Indonesia, it can be concluded the restaurant have been open since before the pandemic and were also open to open when the pandemic had not spread too much in Indonesia. Second, perspective on the impact of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic the restaurant visit in Jakarta. From the result of interview, they have been conducted. Some people strongly agree with the pandemic which has greatly impacted the economy and coffee business, especially in the Yogyakarta. In this case, it can be concluded that each restaurant has its own measurement value of the economic impact of the pandemic. Two of the three restaurants owned that we interviewed really uh, felt a dr uh, drastic difference when the corona entered Indonesia, but it was different with the Mr. Andreas, who just felt the difference when they entered uh, the Ramadan. Third, restaurant business con uh, constrained during the pandemic. In the business, the owner experienced many di difficulties such as uh, such as having to cut employee because salaries and change work house force. Mr. Pony said in the interview that the problem is that many of his uh, his customers are from the problem is many his customers are from the middle of and the upper classes, which they definitely have their own uh, privilege, not the not to leave the house and not visit the restaurant. The part, how business owners solve the problem with economic problem due to the pandemic. In dealing with the restaurant economic problem, restaurant business owners have their own uh, way of the overcoming problem and maintaining their business. We can see from Mr. Boni, who focuses more on social media promotion. Mr. Agus, who focuses focus on the closest customer. To Mr. Andreas, who focuses more on the space comfort and saving electrical for finance. Five, special strategy to, strategy to solve restaurant business problem during the pandemic. In terms of the strategy, the, the business owner of each restaurant have their own special strategy to uh, attract customers. Starting from Mr. Boni, who focuses on online game competition, is focus focus on the quality of focus on coffee and to the Mr. Andreas who designed his uh, pet-friendly cafe and worked uh, close, closely with the dog keeping community. Next is about the discussion. Based on the finding of the research conducted by the researchers above, there are three sections discussed in the research finding and discussion. First is about cause and impact of the pandemic on business. Mr. Boni, one of the owners of a restaurant in Yogyakarta, Raku Cafe, explained about the cause and effect of the pandemic that occurred in Yogyakarta. He said, Yogyakarta has become a student city that provides so many benefits for restaurant business owners and the food industry. But because of the pandemic, economic income has drastically decreased. The same thing was experienced by Mr. Agus and Mr. Andreas as cafe business owners. Their economic income decreased as an impact from the COVID-19 pandemic. Because of the pandemic, restaurant financial income had an impact and fell drastically. 
Based on the theory put forward by Arlindo Madeira 2020 says that the COVID-19 pandemic is responsible for a health crisis and at the same time for a sharp drop in the activities of economic sustainability, particularly in the tourism management and has consequences in the most countries that are still difficult to measure. And the second is about the business owner's perspective about how much effect the pandemic on the restaurant incomes. In this case, each restaurant has its own measurement value of the economic impact of the pandemic. Two of true restaurant owners, Mr. Woni and Mr. Agus that we interviewed, really felt a drastic difference when the corona entered Indonesia. But it was different with Mr. Andreas which just felt the difference when he entered the moment of Ramadan. Based on the theory put forward by Airlindo Madeira 2020, this is in accordance with our research that the business owners are concerned about the economic condition of the restaurant because they are no customer and reduce economic income. And the last section is about the special strategies to solve restaurant business problem during the pandemic. In this research, the most important point is how the strategy of the business owners in solve the economic problems of restaurants because of the pandemic. As a business owners, they certainly have a special strategy for customers so that they can remain customer at the restaurant. Therefore, in terms of strategy, the business owner of its restaurant have their own special strategies to attract customers. Starting from Mr. Boni, who focus on online games competition, Mr. Agus focus on the quality of Robusta Cafe, and Mr. Andreas who design his pet-friendly cafe and work closely with the dog keeping community. Based on the theory put forward by Arlindo Madeira 2020 says that recovering old customer and capturing a new target public. Not only that, based on the theory put forward by Lidl 2020 says that the alternative of premise models such as the drive through and the delivery were implemented by restaurant corporate and the owners to offset the impact. This theory shows that restaurant owners manage the restaurant with alternative off-premise models such as drive through and food delivery, implemented by restaurant companies and owners to offset the impact. Chapter 5 Conclusion The purpose of this study is to see how the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the restaurant business in the city of Yogyakarta on five research questions about how is the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the restaurant business in the city of Yogyakarta. First, after co conducting interviews with interviewees, it shows that there are several answers regarding when the restaurant business was opened and when the restaurant started operating before the pandemic spread too, too much in Indonesia. Second, the perspective of restaurant business owners regarding the impact of the pandemic on the restaurant business. It can be concluded that the COVID-19 pandemic has had an impact on restaurant business owners in Yogyakarta. Third, regarding the complaints of business owners during the pandemic against their restaurant business. Based on the interviews that we conducted, the business owners said that their business complaint during the pandemic included a decline target market because this business is a middle upper restaurant. So consumers have their own reason not to visit the restaurant. Fourth, the question of how business owner manage and overcome economic problems during the pandemic. The interview result revealed that business owners have their own way of managing restaurant. Finally, it is about how the strategy of business owners is attracting consumers. From the interviews that we did, many of them collaborate with several game communities, animal keepers, and so on. In addition, it can be concluded that this pandemic greatly impacted their restaurant business, and they as business owners also have strategies to manage problems. And here is about the references for this mini-research. That's all uh, for the presentation. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.